What would you do if you knew you only had 20 years left on our planet? Would you make a plan? Would you find guidance to enjoy, do something different, something you regretted that you hadn't pursued for the next 20 years? Would you just float like a frog on a lily pad and just let the next 20 years take you where, wherever? Would you let someone else take your hand and guide you? I ask this because I am in my 60s. I've had an amazing life. However, I feel as though I want to make these next 20 to 30 years the kind of years that I remember everything. With this in mind, I just happened to meet someone who works with a center called Logan Light Center. Jonathan and I were talking, and he brought up the process of life activation. It's one of the programs. What I found enthralling about this program is that it actually helps people find their purpose. It helps people deal with emotional transitions, life transitions, career transitions. Essentially, though, it's really helping people find their purpose in life. No matter where you are, where you, what your age is, it doesn't matter because I know many, many people who are still just floating along in their 30s because they don't have a purpose. They haven't really delved into who they are and what they would love to be. Whether, that, whether that's a specific profession or where it's a specific mental and emotional state. I cannot really get into the life activation process because I have not studied it. What I do know from talking to Jonathan and reviewing their website and talking to others, they have gone under intense study and training, metaphysical, spiritual, psychological. Also, many of them are ordained ministers. Be prepared for some guidance that will enlighten you. What I strongly suggest is that you actually visit their website, look at their different programs, give them a call. They are everywhere in the United States, evidently. I know that Jonathan is having an event March 23rd in Dunedin, Florida. If you are here visiting or you live in that area, that is on my podcast details as their website, as their Instagram. What I strongly suggest is to give them a call, find out what their programs are like. I do feel as though this life activation process, the program, is something that many, many, many of us could use. The whole aspect of transition, it's difficult to do by yourself. I really believe that. We have such strong emotions when it comes to transition, financial, whether it's career transition, So much of this we do need some hand-holding with, and I believe this program is a good way to discover who you are and what you really, really want to be. It's a tool in your toolbox. Look at it that way. Kundalini Yoga, I feel very strongly the same way about it, that you can learn so much about yourself and how to deal with so many of life's transitions. The Kriya that I put on this podcast is for emotional fatigue and fear of the future. When you're going through life transitions, and we all do, when you're going through these, you do become emotionally fatigued. That's why this Kriya is included, and the other second part of it is fear of the future. It's an easy Kriya. You can do it while you're sitting on the floor, sitting in the chair, no crazy positions, very easy to do. Lastly, Wine. I'm not going to talk about any wine and spirits because I strongly believe if you are going through emotional turmoil, financial transitions, career transitions, it's so much better to do it under sobriety. <laughs> I've always talked about in the last several weeks, I have talked about mocktails. It's a good time to put the mocktails out and put the cocktails up for a while. To wrap this up, The Logan Light Center, very supportive, enlightening, that life activation process. I'm a strong believer we all need to experiment, do something different. This is not career counseling. This is really a deep dive into what you would truly love to do, who you truly are, 
your life's purpose. Because many of us are just flitting and fumbling and not quite making it through in the way that we would love to do. We're all destined to greatness. Yes, we are. Practice the Kundalini Kundalini Yoga Kriyas. They will help you with this process also. And lastly, stick to the mocktails. To wrap this up, I'm Valerie Hale. I create this podcast once a week to help people with their mindset. Remember, thoughts become things. Choose the good ones. I also have a an online class to help people overcome their fear in public speaking, amongst other communication skills. All that's on my podcast details. Merci. Au revoir. What would you do if you knew you only had 20 years left on our planet? Would you make a plan? Would you find guidance to enjoy, do something different, something you regretted that you hadn't pursued for the next 20 years? Would you just... Thank you.